Hey everyone, my name is Jimmy Linville and I'm the owner of 4L Irrigation. It's a cold, wet February day here in Keller, Texas. So I've set up an inside display to answer some common questions about wiring. Now wiring is mysterious to us for a couple of reasons. One is because all the wires are buried underneath the ground and they're connected to these things that we don't know exactly what they are called valves. And each valve has two wires on it. One valve is for the common wire. And I'm going to show you how that one common wire goes to every single valve. And the other one is for a dedicated wire that goes into the controller that operates only that valve. These are non-polarized, so it really doesn't matter which one goes to the common and which one goes to the direct wire. If we go to our controller, we can see a couple of things. First, we can see that there is only one place for the common wire. And because remember, that common wire goes to every single valve in the system. This particular system that we have set up has what we call a master valve, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. And then there are one, two, three, four wires that goes to the four valves that we have set up. And this is how it works. So again, in this scenario, we have what we call a master valve. So, out of, the, uh, out of the controller, the common wire comes out and it's connected to this master valve. And do you see that it is spliced in? And then it goes to every single valve where, again, this one wire is cut and spliced with the wire from the valve. And we can see all four valves, it's the same way. And then each wire has their own dedicated wire that has its own slot. The slot that is marked for the master valve is what must be turned on before any of the other valves can work. So this will help you. For instance, if you have a bad valve, if you have a master valve, it will only the bad valve will only run as long as that is set on your controller. And then the, the master valve will make sure it's shut off. The bad thing about a master valve, if it goes out, then all of your valves go out because it has to open before any of the other valves can open. So, if we turn on number one, we should be able to see that it is working. So I'm going to turn this to auto, and we're going to go to valve number one, and we're going to turn it on for just a couple of minutes. And you should actually be able to hear the master valve click on, and valve number one just clicked on. So you can see it's working, but if we couldn't see this and we needed to see it from the controller, this is how we would determine if they were working or not. We would get a multimeter and it has to be able to measure resistance or ohms. And we would take one of the probes and we would connect it to that white wire, the common wire that goes to every single valve. And we would take the next probe and we would connect it to each and every dedicated wire. And we want to see readings between 20 and 60 ohms. So we can see the first one is good. It's at 39. Second one's good. Third one's good. Good and good. So we've done two things. We have ran the controller and we saw that it worked. And we have tested the ohm readings on each one to see that they work. Here's what you need to remember. If a dedicated line is cut, so let's say we cut the dedicated line on zone, uh, on zone number two, then we should get good readings on all of the zones except for zone number two. Let's see if that works. Master valve is good. Zone number one is good. Zone number two is dead. Zone number three is dead, or is good, I'm sorry. And zone number four is good. So what we've learned, if a direct wire is cut, it is going to take out that particular zone. What we need to know about the common wire is if the common wire is cut, it is going to impact every zone on the other side of the cut. So for instance, we have five different valves that control four different zones. If we cut the common wire right here, we should see zone number two, three, and four not working. 
Let's check that out and see if that's true. So again, one on the common. Master valve is good. Zone number one is good. Number two is dead. Number three is dead. And number four is dead. So I know we kind of made this look simple, but if everything was covered up under dirt and we had wires and maybe there's not four zones, maybe there's 15 or 20 or 25 zones, and maybe you have a half acre piece of property or an acre piece of property, you can see how complicated that this could get. Not knowing if there was a bad connection at the valve or if a, a wire was cut somewhere that led up to that valve, we would have to troubleshoot all of those and find out.